Right, so what do we think, guys? It's uh, quite challenging, isn't it? This is the new Lagonda Vision concept, and it leads on from the Lagonda Taraf that we saw last year and the, frankly, quite hideous Lagonda SUV concept that we saw in 2009. But this is a much clearer idea of where Aston Martin wants to take this revived brand. What is it? Well, it's an all-electric, super limo, luxury car. Interesting, because only Aston can really do this sort of stuff. Now that it's got the Lagonda brand, it can take on Rolls-Royce with big luxury cars like this, but it can also take on Ferrari with a mid-engined supercar. There's one of those coming next year. I'll be honest, I saw some pictures of this before the show, and I wasn't totally convinced, wasn't my favorite thing, but I've been looking around it now in the flesh, and honestly, I'm in awe. Lagondas have always been these slightly quirky, mad cars. There's a bit of DB11 in the rear deck, quite like that. And then you've got this big wedgie shape running down to the front bonnet with echoes of the Williamstown's Lagonda from 1975. It's a bit mad, but I quite like it. Let's take a look inside because the madness continues. A few more details for you. It's got a range of 400 miles. It supposedly uses solid state batteries, which you can charge wirelessly, pretty much par for the course with concept cars. In here, well, less of an interior as we know it, more of a lounge. And if you like velour and sheepskin, well, you're going to love it in here. That passenger seat, it's turned around, it's sociable. There's supposedly a level of autonomy in here, so it's a more relaxed, laid back way to conduct your affairs. I'm quite a fan of it actually. It's different, isn't it? It feels fresh. It's not just leather and aluminium and all the normal things that we see. It's making the most of the fact that this car is electric. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, this car. It is quite challenging. It is mm, a bold move from Aston Martin. But if their intention was to grab our attention, well, they've well and truly got it. There's another car over here I want to show you. Speaking of attention grabbing, Oh yeah, there it is. Painted in neon colours over here. Now this is what happens when you take the Aston Martin Valkyrie hypercar and unshackle it from road car rules. It's called the AMR Pro and it's basically the track only version of the Valkyrie hypercar. And it's not often I'm totally stunned and taken aback by something but this is just epic. Of course, the Valkyrie comes from the brain of Adrian Newey, the design chief for Red Bull F1. And you get the feeling that when he came up with the car, this was what he had in his mind from the beginning. We've also got some numbers to go with it. They've been a bit coy about the road car, but now they're telling us back there, there is a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12, high revving. Of course, I can only imagine how good that is going to sound, and that's twinned with an energy recovery curve system like you get an F1 for an extra boost, so 1,100 horsepower, we're told. But this thing weighs less than 1,000 kilograms, so that one-to-one -one power to weight ratio absolutely nailed it. And of course, you might notice there's some wings and some fins and some add-ons. We'll have a closer look at them in a minute, but this thing will produce up to 1,000 kilograms of downforce, and yes, that means you could probably theoretically drive one on the ceiling. I don't think Aston's going to let us do that anytime soon. Let's just have a quick look around it because these details, I've never seen anything like it before. Front spoiler, basically a sideboard sticking out the front of the car there. Headlights, well, you don't need normal headlights if you're going to be driving around a racetrack. The wheels, completely enclosed super aerodynamic the gap between the wheel and the wheel arch there yeah there might be a bit of um, artistic license for the concept car going on there but follow me down because you've got these incredible fins coming off here it's basically more space than it is bodywork this car look through there the wishbones on the suspension absolute pieces of art look even these carbon fiber side pods have little slits and vents in them this car could honestly only come from the mind of an engineer obsessed with aerodynamics. And as we all know, that is Adrian Newey's obsession. And I've saved the best till last. Look at this. That's not a diffuser, it's a traffic tunnel. I, tell you, I bet you I could, I bet I could crawl in there. 
Honestly, if I didn't have a big breakfast, I could have gone all the way through to the other side of that car. Absolutely astonishing. I'm told these exhausts are going to get up to about 800 degrees Celsius, so they might want to put a little bit of flame proofing on the wing here. Now I'm going to point out the obvious. This thing still is a model. The real thing, we've got another year to wait. That's if they let us get anywhere near it. If they let us sniff a test drive of it, but they're already claiming it'll pull 3G in corners. And it's probably no coincidence that if you look over there, you'll see Red Bull's latest F1 car, complete with Aston Martin branding, of course. So it's feasible that this thing spawned from a road car could be as quick as that around a racetrack. Honestly, mind blown.